once you've finished editing, tweaking, and transforming your video, it's time to take the most important step. Up until this point, your video is just a project. Only you and the people who've worked on it with you have seen your creation. However, once you're finished, it's time to share it with the world. Before we learn about the different ways to export our project, let's take a look at what a finished video looks like. This lesson is going to focus exactly on the steps you need to take to publish your video. You're going to learn how to export frames to still images, export media such as audio and video clips and sequences, recognize available format options, export formats, export a master copy, work with Adobe Media Encoder, and exporting to tape. Once you're finished creating and editing your video, you have several choices as to how you can export it from Premiere Pro. You can export editable video or audio files from Premiere Pro, then continue to edit them in another program. In addition to exporting the video and or audio files, you can also export a sequence of a single clip or frame. You can also export your video to share with audiences. If you want, you can export a single frame of your video. This can be helpful if you want to create a DVD cover or share a frame you're especially proud of with your family and friends. To export a frame, go to the Source Monitor or Program panel. Move the playhead to the frame that you want to export. Click Export Frame. You will then see the Export Frame dialog box. Choose a name for the frame, then select an image format. In addition, click the Browse button to choose the location where you'll save the frame. Check the Import into Project box if you want the frame imported into the project as an image. Click OK when you're finished. You can also export audio and video from Premiere Pro. This includes clips and sequences that you can export from either the Program Panel or the Timeline. To export media in Premiere Pro, click the video you want to export in the Project Panel or click the sequence in the Project Panel or Timeline. Next, go to File, Export, Media. You'll then see the Export Settings dialog box. This dialog box is where you'll choose a format for your video, as well as the preset. The first thing you'll need to determine is the format of your video once it's exported, then a preset. Always choose a format before you choose a preset. Check the appropriate box if you want to export video and or audio. Below Export Video and Export Audio, you'll see tabs. Let's review a few of these. The Audio tab contains audio encoding options. Captions provide export options for captions. This will be grayed out if you don't have closed captions in your video. The FTP tab lets you upload your encoded files to an FTP site. You'll need your FTP credentials in order to do this. At the bottom of the Export Settings dialog box are four checkboxes. Use Maximum Render Quality will enable a higher level of rendering that will improve quality. Use Frame Blending should be checked if you're going to change the frame rate from the source file to the output. Use Previews allows you to use previews that were produced during editing at the output file. An Import into Project will enable Premiere Pro to import the encoded video back into the project. When you're finished, click Export or Q. If you choose Q, Adobe Media Encoder opens. Your project is added to its queue. If you choose Export, Adobe Media Encoder renders and exports your project right away. Let's talk a little more about formats before we move forward. Take a look at the Export Settings dialog box again. Click the drop-down arrow beside Format to see the formats available. If you're producing a video for a website or for a certain purpose, you may already know what format is required. Otherwise, you'll have to select a format on your own. We'll give you a brief rundown of the formats available. AAC audio is audio that is compressed using advanced audio coding technology. This is the audio component of most H.264 files. AIFF stands for Audio Interchange File Format. It's an audio-only format that's used by OSX. AS11 is a vendor-neutral subset of the MXF file format to use for delivery of finished programming from program producers and distributors to broadcast stations. DNX HD MXF OP1A is generally used to export for import into an AVID project or to create an extremely high quality archival file. 
DPX, or Digital Picture Exchange, is for digital intermediate and special effects. F4V and FLV is flash video using the codes H.264 and VP6 codecs. H.264 is the most used distribution codec. Presets for this include mobile, Apple TV, Roku, and other box platforms and will encode for YouTube and Vimeo. H.264 Blu-ray is for Blu-ray disc. JPEG exports a series of JPEG compressed frames. MP3 creates a .mp3 audio file. MPEG-2 is an older format that can still be used for output for some broadcasters. MPEG-2 Blu-ray DVD should be used for inclusion on Blu-ray or DVD discs. MPEG-4 is for old mobile devices. MXF OP1A is for Sony's IMC and some XD cam cameras. P2 Movie is compatible with P2 cards. PNG creates a series of PNG compressed frames. QuickTime is good for accessing QuickTime-based codecs, including ProRes. Targa and TIFF will create Targa or TIFF frames. Waveform audio is uncompressed audio. Raptor DCP, or Digital Cinema Package, is a collection of digital files used to store and convey digital cinema audio, image, and data streams. A master copy is a copy of your project that you can archive for future use. It's fully editable and contains the highest resolution as well as quality. In addition, it can be used to produce other output formats at a later date. To create a master copy, go back to the Export Settings dialog box. Put a check mark beside Match Sequence Settings. Next, click the yellow hypertext to select a location where the master copy will be stored. Click the Save button. Now look at the summary area to make sure that the output format matches the settings for the sequence. When you're finished, click the Q button. When you click the Q button in Premiere Pro, Adobe Media Encoder will open. Adobe Media Encoder creates your video for whatever screen size and resolution you need and offers tools to allow you to publish your video across different browsers and devices. In addition, when you export a file from Premiere Pro, Adobe Media Encoder can encode that single file to multiple outputs, all at the same time. It can also set up watch folders, which we will learn about later in the lesson. For now, let's take a look at Adobe Media Encoder. Adobe Media Encoder has four windows. Q is in the upper left corner. It lists the files that are in Q for coding. The preset browser is in the upper right hand corner. It contains the same presets as the export settings dialog box in Premiere Pro. However, they're in different folders. The encoding window is on the bottom left. It'll tell you if there are problems with the encoding. Watch folders is located on the bottom right. This contains watch folders that you've created. To set preferences, go to Edit Preferences on a PC and Adobe Media Encoder Preferences on a Mac. Go to the General tab. If you don't want to have to manually start each queue, make sure Start Queue Automatically when Idle For is checked. You can also disable parallel encoding, which is encoding to multiple outputs. If you have a slower machine, you may want to disable this. In addition, you can select a file location for all encoded files. If you don't, they'll be stored with the source video clip. To start an encoded queue, click the Start Queue button in the queue window. To add a preset to a queued file, go to the Preset Browser. Find the preset that you want, then drag the preset onto the queued file. The queued files will be encoded to the selected outputs. After you do that, start encoding. Watch folders are folders on your hard disk that are tied to presets. You can encode a file to all the presets contained in the folder. To create a watch folder, go to the Watch Folders window, then click the Add Folder icon. You'll then see the Choose a Folder to Watch dialog box. Choose a folder, then press the Select Folder button. You can then see the folder in the Watch Folders window. Now you can drag presets from the Preset Browser and drop them onto the folder. You can also export your project to DV videotape. However, before you do this, you must connect the device to your computer with a FireWire connection. Once it's connected, you're ready to begin. Turn your device on and set it to VTR, VCR, or Play. Go to File, Export, Tape, DV, HDV. Then set your options. Click Record for DV devices or Render and Record for HDV devices. <laughs>